Hi, Budget Friends. If you're tired of missing due dates or juggling bills from memory, I've got something that can help. Today, we're creating a bill payment tracker in Excel, and you can download the free template I made for you. This tracker helps you keep all your bills in one place, the due dates, the amounts, whether it's paid and how often it repeats. It's great for monthly planning and seeing your upcoming bills at a glance. You can sort by due date, so you'll always know which bill is coming up next. You can also add an advanced feature to highlight bills that are overdue. I'll show you how right after we're done building this tracker. Now let's start with a blank sheet. In the first column, List out all your bills like rent, utilities, subscriptions, phone, anything you have with a reoccurring payment. In the next column, add the bill category. This is optional, but it helps to understand where your money is going. Next are the due dates. This column will need to be formatted. To do this, select the column, and change it to short date. Here you'll enter specific due dates like July 1st. Then enter the amount due and whether it's paid with a checkbox. How easy is that? Check each bill off once it's paid. The checkbox column makes it really satisfying to track your progress. Let's format the amount due column to currency. The next column is the date the bill was paid. Don't forget to format these dates like we did before. You can also add an optional payment method column with how it was paid. The last column is how often it comes due, monthly, every two weeks, and so on. I like using a dropdown so I don't have to retype the same options each time. To add a dropdown, select the cells in this column and click on Data. Then click Data Validation. In this box under Settings, you want to select List. Under source, you want to list out all the reoccurrences, like monthly, annually, or yearly. Each needs to be separated by a comma. Then click OK. Now you have your dropdown, so you don't have to retype it in. Now to be able to sort your bills, convert this into a table in Excel. Click on Insert and select Table. Be sure all of your data is selected and check the My Table Has Headers box. Now you can sort by due date or any of the columns to sort your data. Also, you can change the way your table looks by selecting Table Design and picking from the table styles. You can make changes to the fonts, colors, sizes, bold text. It's totally customizable. As promised, we can also include conditional formatting to highlight overdue bills. Here's how. Select all of your data and under the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting and select New Rule. Under Select a Rule Type, click on Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. This allows us to add a formula. If you followed along with me and created the columns the same way, Column C is your Due Date and Column E is your Paid Checkbox. Then you can enter this exact formula. Then click on Format and choose how you want your overdue bills to look. I don't want to overcomplicate it. 
So I use a light red fill, just enough to draw my attention without being distracting. Then click OK and you should see any overdue bills right away. So what this formula does, this formula that we entered is a logical test that returns either true or false. The formula looks at column C, which is the due date. And if that date is prior to today's date and the checkbox in column E is not checked yet, then the formula returns the logical test and the row will be highlighted red. But if the checkbox is checked or the date is in the future, then the formula will return the logical test and the row will not change. Finally, let's add a total row at the bottom of the amount column. With the table selected, go to Table Design and check the total row box. Then under the Amount Due column, click the drop down and choose Sum. This gives you a quick glance at your total expenses for the month. I recommend starting a new sheet or tab for each month or duplicating your file. That way you can compare month to month and see how your habits change. I've included a free template below so you can get started right away. Customize it, duplicate it, and make it work for your budget style. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more practical Excel tools like this. Let me know what Excel tracker would help you most. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to create it for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.